Greetings, true believers. It's your old pal Spider-Man. Good morning, Kondre. Good morning, everybody out there. Um, happy, what is it? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. I'm enjoying some coffee in my uh, shaving Kondre mug. I uh, got some wake-up juice. Hmm. Oh, boy. I made it super strong today, so uh, really good. Mm. Anyway, today we are going to do uh, another one of these stunt shave uh, series. Um, so we created these um, just to kind of do something out of the ordinary, um, have some fun, uh, maybe push some boundaries, maybe learn some different things, uh, maybe try something a little bit differently and, you know, see if it works out for us or just give us some other options. Um, like if we're out and about and uh, we forget our shaving stuff or we forget one item of shaving stuff or something breaks or something gets stolen, gets lost, you know, along the way something happens, uh, give us some other options. Um, so today we're gonna do just that. Um, today, we're going to assume that we do not have any shaving soap. Um, and, uh, you know, especially if you're going to a hotel or something, um, you've at least got the soap that the hotel gives you. So that's what this is right here. I'm gonna use hotel soap. Um, you can use bar soap for this challenge. You can use any other regular soap as long as it's not meant for shaving, shave soap. Um, so I'm using, uh, this was from a uh, hotel actually in Hawaii. Uh, went there on a trip a few months back. Um, had a few of these uh, bars of soap. Uh, obviously you get a new, pe new, uh, new set of soap, new set of shampoo every day. Um, and uh, I paid for it, right? It's part of the room. So yeah, I'm gonna take that soap. So I've got a whole bag of soap. Um, Several bags of soap that I brought back. Um, I'll show you. One of them. All soap. I have two of these bags that came back from me from uh, from Hawaii. But I was there for three weeks, so I got lots of soap. So I use that stuff all the time. I use it for hand soap. I use it in the shower. Um, might as well, right? Save some money on soap. Anyway, so uh, that is what we're going to be using today. And we're gonna to try to prove that uh, you can get a decent shave off of just about any soap. Uh, you don't have to spend a ton of money on shaving soap. Um, you know, obviously shaving soap is designed for shaving. Um, there's additives in it that are meant for the lather to be good. It's there to make it be slick and Bar soap isn't that. Uh, bar soap doesn't have the same ingredients. It's made differently. It's not meant for that purpose, but you can still use it. You can still get a decent shave out of it if you need to. Um, so that's what we're gonna try to show you. So I'm just gonna hold this in my hand and uh, just do a quick hand load. Um, now, since this isn't shaving soap, I do want to try to load a lot. Um, I want to get as much into my brush as I can uh, to try to get enough product in there uh, so that it'll produce a lather that I can maintain. Um, if you don't get a lot in there, uh, you don't get very much, you're going to end up with very thin lather. It's going to disappear on you. Um, and whatnot. But... Um, I recall back in the day, um, and obviously I wasn't around back then, but seeing vintage ads and whatnot, um, Ivory Soap used to uh, have ads where they would tout um, for men to use Ivory Soap for shaving purposes. Um, and that was kind of one of the very first things um, that... Uh, back in my early days of wet shaving, when I was first discovering this stuff, um, got me interested in trying out uh, hand soap and bar soap. I was seeing those ads, and I'm like, well, if they're telling you to use um, ivory soap for shaving, then it must be all right. It must work out at least okay. Um, and uh, so I went ahead and tried ivory soap. I bought some ivory soap, I tried it, and posted about it, and uh, pretty sure way back then I, I did a video about it, um, 
Gotta make sure I'm not flinging soap into my coffee. That would be bad. Um, so I did try the ivory soap. I didn't want to repeat that this time. I want to try something different. Um, I don't know. It looks, lather looks pretty good. It doesn't, it's not super thick, but uh, I've got decent coverage. Um, we will see if this lasts uh, and doesn't dissipate throughout my shave. Uh, what am I use today? Um, let me go ahead and grab my Yuma. I love this razor. Um, cheap little, I think I bought mine for like 17 bucks. Um, they used to be cheaper, um, but they also used to be more readily available. Uh, I can't remember if I bought it off of eBay or Amazon, probably eBay. Um, but made in Turkey, uh, like, I think it's like all aluminum or all pot metal or something. It's just super, super cheap, but it's really light and I really like it. I, I can't complain about the soap, uh, really. It's super slick. Now I will say, uh, when I held up the bag, you saw there are two different colors. Um, one was the bath soap, one was the face soap, and I am using the face soap. I would assume that probably one of the differences between them, if any, is the face soap might have some moisturizers in it, um, but the body soap or bath soap does not. Um, but man, that worked out really well. Um, I wouldn't have known the difference in, in the shave quality, really. Um, it wasn't as cushiony, but uh, the slickness was definitely there. It's actually really slick. I know every time, every single soap you get is going to be different. Um, and this one just happens to be really, really good. Um, I mean, I'm sure you can try some other soap that isn't so good. And maybe I'll try another one of these in the future with a different, uh, a different bar soap, maybe something like from the dollar store or something cheap from Walmart or something and see if uh, a different kind of soap. But there's so much slickness, like I'm, I don't even need to reapply anything and like I can still shave. I This is honestly, um, this particular bar of soap is better than a lot of shave soaps. Um, The only thing that I would say that it isn't, is, is it isn't thick. It isn't thick and cushiony, but that's not the most important thing to me. The most important thing is slickness, and this has it in spades. I'm actually really, really happy with the shave that I'm getting from this. It's really comfortable. Um, Go for our last pass, see if we still have enough lather in the brush. I mean, seriously, I've seen some videos 
where y'all have used shaving soap and your lather didn't look this good. I'm not saying this looks great. This by far is, I mean, it's definitely worse than my first pass. Um, you can tell uh, I'm starting to lose a little bit. Um, it's not so thick, you can kind of see through it, but um, okay, so I'll, I won't say this is better. I'll say this is on par with some of the shave soaps. My first pass, definitely better. Um, but I've seen uh, some people use some stuff and this is what your face look like when you're using your shave, shave soap. So not as thick, um, not as cushiony, but it still gets the job done. For a cheap, to me, free soap, um, this is really good stuff. Um, now, I will say... Maybe I'm cheating, I don't know. This did come from the Hilton in Hawaii. And it is, I don't know if it's their own brand or somebody else's brand. Um, and it's supposed to be like a really good soap. Um, they're awfully proud of it because they sell it in their gift shop. And it's super expensive. I guess they assume that tourists are gonna come there, use the soap in the bathroom, like it, and then go buy some to take home. But oh my goodness, it was so expensive, it was nuts. But I got lots of it for free. Um, so, uh, that's why I'm saying in fairness and in further experimentation, um, a little bit down the road, I'm probably going to try a few other soaps, uh, see if I get something uh, similar, you know, try something like common and everyday, like Dial or Ivory, Irish Spring, something like that. See if I can get similar results, because right now, uh, this is definitely on par with um, shave soaps. I would call this, if I was grading this as a shave soap, I would call it tier two. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't have the feel of shave soap. It doesn't have the um, kind of the thickness and the the softness that shave soap feels on your skin. Um, obviously, there's very little, if any, scent. Um, I mean, it, it is somewhat scented. It's a coconut papaya soap, um, very tropical, um, but it doesn't have a scent that actually projects from the lather. Um, you can smell it in the bar, so when you're using it a little bit, you can. Um, man, I don't even need to do anything. I'm, I'm just kind of messing around here with my um, touch-up pass, but I'm pretty good. Um, but, uh, so it doesn't have any scent. Um, so as far as being an everyday shave soap, that would get kind of boring. Um, but Totally, totally. I could use this every day and get good shaves. Um, I would definitely get bored with it, but I would still get good shaves. So it's definitely a passable, uh, acceptable, suitable substitute for shave soap. And that is actually really, really good, really close, really smooth shave. Um, so that wasn't so much of a stunt, really. Um, just trying to do something a little bit out of the ordinary and uh, kind of push the boundaries a little bit and see what's possible. Um, like I said, if, you, if you're packing your dop kit and you're going on a vacation, going on a trip, and you brain fart and forget to bring shave soap, just use regular soap. Um, anything that's anything that's going to provide slickness um, is really all you're going to need. Um, so, bar soap will work. Proved it. Um, and we'll do it again in the future. Um, probably post another one of these and maybe next month. I've got a bunch of uh, other stuff to do. So next week uh, on the Shave and Cadre theme week is samples. And I have a ton of 
Saponovicio Veracino uh, samples that I got from Hanna Barber Dave. <clears throat> so I'll be using, I'll be going through all of the samples. Um, I've got more than a week's worth, so I will go. Mine's gonna bump into the the next week, whatever that week happens to be, uh, for the theme shaves. But that one will be. Um, Interesting. Uh, I've been looking forward to using the SV soaps for a very long time. Dave sent them to me a month or so ago, maybe longer, and just been waiting for the right time to do it. And since theme week came up, uh, that's what I'm doing. Anyways, as far as the stunt shave go, um, like I said, this one wasn't so much stunty, but just kind of seeing what we can do um, when we're uh, in a pinch. And uh, next month, I can tell you it will be a stunty shave. Um, this one will separate the men from the boys, so to speak, of who's really willing to push the boundaries and do a stunt shave um, and do something that is uh, cringy a little bit. And uh, most people go, ooh, why would you want to do that? Um, but we're going to try it. So uh, take care, everybody. We'll see you guys on the Kajari. If you haven't joined us, Come on out, see what it's all about. We have a lot of fun. We do these stunt shaves. Uh, we play bingo. We do a bunch of other things on the forum, aside from just talking about shaving. Um, but if you're new to wet shaving and you want to learn, come on out. Join the cadre, www.theshavingcadre.com, and we'll see you guys on the forums later.